It's Monday morning and Mania TV is back. And what a way to announce our return on the back of perhaps the most explosive Manchester derby there has ever been. We've got Mark Hughes on fourth officials that can't count and also Rafa Benitez and Gianfranco Zala on the other fantastic game from this weekend, West Ham against Liverpool. But we start with the papers and the back page of the stars sums up what every Manchester City fan must be feeling today. Robbed. You already know by now all about the referee Martin Atkinson claiming that he found nearly seven minutes of extra time because of Craig Bellamy's celebration for his second quite magnificent goal. The Sun goes a stage further and says here, you clocked it up, ref. And I want to know what you think. Is it a stitch up or is it all a fuss over nothing? Post on YouTube or on the email. We'll get stuck into your messages right here on the show. Now, while you're at it, go to the Mirror Football website and take part in this poll we want to know how much stoppage time the ref should have allowed. Should it have been three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, or as much time as United needed to score the winner? Somehow I don't think Mark Hughes is ready to see the funny side just yet. Here's what a reminder of what he had to say after the match. The fourth official tried to give me an explanation of all sorts as I was obviously questioning that the time added on, even before the game finished. So, um... His explanation of it didn't really sit comfortably with me, in fairness. Well, historically it's happened before. Uh, I was in teams here where where we always had uh, maybe a little bit of benefit. Um, never felt it was an issue, obviously, when I played here. I don't, don't recall, I always used to think we, we had a bad time by referees, but um, since I've left, maybe I've changed my view on that. <laughs> see why he's so frustrated just as lots of you are judging by the messages coming in to us here at Mirror Football overnight. Tom Warden says here once again we've seen that a football match lasts at Old Trafford as long as Sir Alex Ferguson says it does. Uh, Steve Simmons thinks City should stop whinging and get back to the drawing board. Tanya watched the game with her boyfriend yesterday says that if extra time was added on for Bellamy's goal celebration then all referees should stick time on for all of the more elaborate goal celebrations, the ones they rehearsed beforehand. Uh, so we'll see what happens there. And Dave is uh, Dave the Blue is clearly a City fan. He says here, City won't need any added time whatsoever when the two teams meet at Eastlands later this season. Now the FA are about to charge Craig Bellamy for his reaction to the fan that ran onto the pitch yesterday. But we at Mania TV have been looking around Europe and found that it could have been much worse. This is Spartak Moscow's Alex getting ready to take a penalty when a pitch invader comes on and takes it for him, then runs around celebrating. As you can see, our mystery penalty taker doesn't look as though he's had a pre-season and his strike partner hasn't got that much pace either. But it was still a very well-taken spot kick. Maybe England should take him to the World Cup next summer. Love it. Now, take a look at this. It's the centre spread of the mirror and the headline is Fever España. It refers to Fernando Torres, who tore West Ham apart as Liverpool ran out 3-2 winners at Upton Park. The trouble is, for me, my Liverpool team just can't win the title. I got no idea what they would do if Torres and or Gerrard were either injured or suspended. Now, that question was actually put to Rafa Benitez after the match on Saturday. Here's what he and the West Ham boss, Gianfranco Zola, had to say. No, I think that uh, he's, um, he's now fit. And we are working hard with him, so with the prevention and everything. And if uh, he cannot play one or two games, uh, we'll have a uh, crowd in front that can score goals, or maybe Ryan like today. So hopefully he will not be injured and he can score a lot of goals for us. But uh, we have uh, different options, different players, and then I think we can manage. You know, Torres is no, he's a great, he's a great striker. So you have to consider him that. Uh, it's not easy to, to be marked. But uh, if something hasn't been done properly, I will, I will be making inquiries. But uh, um, it's a pity because, uh, you know, it's, it's not easy to defend against players like him, especially when they are, they are in a good day like today. But I want to ask you this question. With 55 goals in 91 appearances for Liverpool, is Torres the best striker in the Premier League? Do you prefer Defoe, Drogba, maybe even Rooney? Get in touch, let me know what you think. Now, these boots are proving to be the source of much amusement in the Mania TV office because they are cracking boots, but we just can't give them away. Thankfully, lots of you have been helping by taking part in our latest competition, 
to see who the first Premier League manager to be sacked will be. John Q thinks it's going to be Phil Brown after Hull were beaten at home by a Birmingham at the weekend. Mark Reynolds in Paul thinks it's going to be Paul Hart with Portsmouth now on the back of the worst ever start to a Premier League season. And Brian Bees emailed us uh, in from the US. He thinks that the first Premier League boss to be sacked is going to be Alex McLeish at Birmingham with the prospective new owner Carson Young after a more glamorous name. What do you think? Uh, who do you think is going to be the first boss to go post? Email, you know what to do. But make sure you include your boot size. Just a reminder to log on to Mirror Football to see the fantastic 3pm column where our football spy has found out about a new video game dedicated to Adebayor's goal celebrations. Also, the Premier League manager who likes to fold his stuff up before a punch-up. And the Premier League club who removed an entire section of their messages board uh, because of the abuse aimed at their manager. You can also get match reaction from all of the weekend's Premier League games, so make sure you tune in. And just time to update you on a couple of stories around today. The police have interviewed the Blackburn striker El Haj Diouf over claims that he verbally abused a ball boy in his club's 3-0 defeat to Everton. The police clearly don't have that much to do elsewhere because they're also going to have a look at that incident involving Bellamy and the fan at Old Trafford as well. Uh, United old boy Cristiano Ronaldo scored twice in Real Madrid's 5-0 win over Zerez on Saturday. And the Arsenal boss... Arsene Wenger says he's going to go to the FA to complain about players on opposing teams who simply go out to foul his players. No punchline needed there. More MFTV for you tomorrow. I'll see you on Wednesday.